Boys and girls, welcome back to Poinciana Elementary School. We are going to have a wonderful adventure this okay, year. Okay, boys and girls, when you come out of your classrooms up in that area, you're going to come and walk all the way down the sidewalk with your teachers to the very end, and then you will stop. When you get to the end of this line, you will stop, and the assistant who is in charge of you out here will meet you and let you know when it's time to go to the playground. So you need to line up quietly and listen to the directions. Okay, boys and girls, this morning we're going to talk about how we swing properly on our swings. I will demonstrate to you. You're going to sit on your bottoms at all times, feet out in front of you, pump your legs, and make sure nobody is in front of you. There is no walking in front of the swings at all. If you are not playing on the swing, you need to be away from the swings. When you are finished swinging, do not ever jump off the swing. You stop with your feet and walk off the swing. And make sure that nobody is around. And that's it. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the teeter-totter that we have here. You need to sit on your bottom. You can put your feet in the stirrups. And I don't ever want to see anybody in the middle of here or standing or sitting. You may only sit on the seats. Usually two people or four people can do this. When you are done, you stop at the same time and you may climb off. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the proper way to use our slides here at Point Siena. You're going to climb up the stairs. You're going to go to the top of the slide and sit on your bottom. Make sure your feet are first and you're on your bottom. You come down the slide and hop off the bottom. Do not ever jump off and the next person in line at the top of the slide needs to wait till the person that just went down the slide to be off the slide and get away from the slide, then they may go down. Okay, boys and girls, Mrs. Johnson is now going to demonstrate to you how you walk up, how you climb up this climber. You only go up it. I don't ever want to see anybody coming down it. You only go up. Go ahead, Mrs. Johnson. Good job, Mrs. Johnson. That's the only way you go up. You go up there and then you may go down the slide. Okay, boys and girls, we are now going to demonstrate the monkey bars. I only want you to go on the monkey bars from this side, even though there's two entrances. You can climb up these stairs, go across, make sure you hang on with both hands the whole time, and then you may climb up at this end. Only one person goes at a time. When that person is finished and moves away from here, the next person in line over here may start. Hey guys, so now that we've made it from recess inside to lunch, let's talk about our cafeteria procedures. When you walk in, each person, regardless of how you are eating lunch, if you're buying school lunch or you brought your lunch from home, needs to stop and get some hand sanitizer. A little squirt right on your hands and make sure you rub it in. From there, you'll proceed to walk in this direction, right by our lovely new pirate ship artwork. If you are the person in your class who's responsible for grabbing your lunch cart with all of your lunch boxes in it. This is where it will be, and you'll grab this and continue walking. Yep. If you brought your lunch, you'll head right down this middle aisle straight to your table and take a seat. As soon as you get there and you have your lunch box, you can begin eating. If you are buying your lunch, you'll keep walking right down here and notice I said walking. Everybody will get a lunch. You'll turn left and you'll head straight to their, our pelican over there, right next to the fork to get your food. So once you get here to the in part of our lunch line, you'll want to start looking at the choices. Be sure that you check out your choices right here. This is not where we grab them from. This area is just for watching. What is it we're gonna want to eat? You'll look, You'll look, you'll look, and then when we get down here, the choices will be ready and waiting for you. You will grab your tray and keep walking. Keep your tray on here and push it forward. 
From here, you'll get to select any of your cold items, your salads, your fruit, just keep going. Make sure you pick up your milk or your juice, and then you'll make it here to where the register is. We've all got our wonderful lanyards. You'll say, hello, and scan your lanyard. After they tell you you're good to go, yep. you'll tell your name, and then grab your tray with two hands and head on out. Once you're out here and you've got your lunch tray still with two hands, you'll walk right down this middle aisle to your seat. When you come to your class's seat, you'll find your spot. Here, you'll put your tray down first so your hands are free to balance yourself to get right in. Time to eat. So once you're seated and enjoying your lunch, this is where you stay. If you find a reason you need to get up to get some water in a cup or fill your own water bottle to use the restroom, or maybe you forgot some ketchup, you do not get up without first asking someone. How do you ask someone? Raise your hand. A grown-up will be right around to help you. If you need some water at lunch, we have a nifty new water filler station right here inside the cafeteria. So it's right near the exit door for the kitchen. People who just walked out with their hot lunch, it is right next to it. You can bring the cup that you grabbed or your own water bottle and fill it all the way up to the top. You can also just get a quick sip of water if that's all you needed, but it's inside the cafeteria now. Isn't that wonderful? Mm -hmm. When it's time to go, the grown-ups will come around and help dismiss your class. They'll dismiss you using the signs one, two, and three. When they show you and tell you number one, that means it's time to grab all your trash, anything you brought with you, and get it ready in your tray. Or if you brought your lunch, zip up your lunchbox with anything you're bringing home already inside and any trash you're disposing of ready to be disposed of. The number two just means stand up with empty hands. So use those empty hands to help balance yourself as you get up and wait right there with your empty hands. The number three means to pick up your tray, pick up your trash, pick up your lunchbox, pick up everything here so that the person waiting to dismiss you looks at an empty table. They'll then dismiss you by side where you will dispose of your tray in the trash and then walk over to get in line. While you're waiting for your teacher, we need to make sure that we're waiting in a nice organized line. We do that by standing straight forward, hands down, close to the people around us. We say one student, one square. Take a look at the floor. Am I taking up more space than that one square? I need to be sure to put my arms down and face forward and be ready to walk. My teacher will be here any moment so we can get on with our afternoon and all the learning we have yet to do.